Okay, so today we're going to talk about equivalent ratios and rates. And the first thing we're going to do is just to figure out how do I find an equivalent ratio or rate. So say I gave you the rate three girls out of five girls like chocolate. And I wanted you to find an equivalent uh, rate. Okay, so three out of five girls like chocolate. Well, let's find an equivalent ratio or rate to this. Well, finding equivalent ratios or rates is just like finding equivalent fractions. Okay, so equivalent ratios and rates are just like equivalent fractions. I mean, remember, equivalent means equal. Okay, equivalent means equal. So I want to find an equal fraction. So I can either multiply by the same number or divide by the same number to get an equal fraction. So let's just say that I wanted to multiply by nine. I'm gonna multiply both of these by nine. Remember, you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number in order to keep your fraction or ratio rate equivalent. Okay, if you just multiply one, your fraction doesn't stay equivalent. Five times nine is 45, and three times nine is 27. So three out of five girls is equivalent to 27 out of 45 girls. Remember equivalent ratios and rates, treat them just like equivalent fractions. Okay, so just find an equivalent fraction. So to do that, you're gonna multiply by the same number or divide by the same number. So let me give you another example for division. Sorry, that says or. All right, what if I gave you 10 out of 15 girls like chocolate? So find an equivalent ratio or rate for 10 out of 15 girls. Well, what if I divided both of these by five? It's just like simplifying, right? So that is two thirds. So 10 out of 15 is equivalent to two out of three. So remember to find an equivalent ratio or rate, you just need to either multiply or divide by the same number, okay, to the top and bottom to get an equivalent ratio or rate. It's just like equivalent fractions. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about is if I gave you two equivalent ratios and rates, how would you figure out I'm sorry, if I gave you two rates or ratios, how would you figure out if they're equivalent? So there's three ways we can do that. The first way is by using the unit rate. Okay, so our first way is by using the unit rate. So for example, if I said that 12 boys out of 72 total boys play soccer. Okay, and then the other part would be six boys out of 36 total boys play soccer. We need to determine if these two rates are equivalent by finding the unit rate. So first off, we need to set up our rate. 12 boys out of 72 boys. So out of is our keyword there to help us set up our ratio. So I've got boys out of total. It's very important that we set up both of our ratios this exact same way, boys out of total. So 12 boys, boys is on the top, out of 72 total, so let's make sure. 12 boys, 72 total, yes, those are right, okay? And then six boys, boys is on top, out of 36 total, totals on bottom. So now that we've made sure that our uh, rates are set up the same way, okay? Boys over total, boys over total. Okay, so we need to find the unit rate. So I know that I could do 12 divided by 72 or six and six divided by 36 to help me find the unit rate. 
But what if I did that backwards? What's 72 divided by 12? Well, that's 6. And what's 36 divided by 6? That's also 6. So since these both have the same unit rate, 6, okay, yes, they are equivalent ratios and rates. So yes, because they have the same unit rate. All right. So let's go to the second way to do it. The second way to do it is by using scale factor. By using scale factor. So let's say that I gave you, you can buy 108 pencils for $9 or 36 pencils for $3. Well, let's see how we set those up. Four is my keyword here. All right, so 108 pencils for $9, so pencils over dollars. That's how I'm gonna set up each ratio. Pencils for dollars. So I have 108 pencils for $9 and 36 pencils for $3. All right, 108 pencils for $9 and 36 pencils for $3. So I'm gonna use scale factor. Remember scale factor is what you multiply or divide by to get the second number. So nine divided by three got me three. So I wonder, 108 divided by three, will that give me 36? Well, let's check. Oops, divided by three. Three goes into 10 three times. Minus nine is one. Bring down my eight. Three goes into 18 six times. So yes, 108 divided by three is 36. So since I can use the same scale factor to get me my new rate, this forms an equivalent proportion. I'm sorry, not proportion, an equivalent ratio or rate. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to look at using uh, the cross multiplying method. So cross multiplying. Cross multiplying. So let's say four out of five students like bowling and Eight out of 10 students at another school like bowling as well. Okay, so they like bowling also. I'm gonna scoot this up. Okay, so they like bowling also. So let's set this up, four out of five. So four out of five students and eight out of 10 students. So we wanna see if these are equal by cross multiplying. I call this also the butterfly method because it kind of looks like a butterfly to me. 10 times four is 40. You're gonna multiply the numbers that you circled. And five times eight is 40. Since both of these numbers are the same, yes, this forms equivalent ratios. All right, so this cross multiplying is probably my favorite way to do it. I think it's just a little simpler just to multiply those numbers, but you do whichever way works best for you. So finding the unit rate, using scale factor, or cross multiplying, whatever works best for you.